So, uh, that, that, that's where life comes in. Life of the living for us all. That's who I'm living with for the communication of the pressure that we're under. It's bringing about the most beautiful things that we can be. Most powerful, because I am permanently powerful. You see what I call about call out the homosexual? See, that started out with me on my Luther King, and the street wasn't called Daisy Bates at the time when I started out. So I used to sun gaze with just, just with my gym shorts on out there. Get all the sun in my eyes and all that, and these guys would come by, drive by, and act as if they're asking me a question about certain things. I said, no, please don't do that. And these guys were homosexual, and I would, no, 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 I'm not into that. You see? And so, now, I'm the enemy, all of a sudden, because I don't want to deal with you, you see? It didn't start out with me just calling people homosexual, these men, no. It started out with me sun gazing, raising my vibration higher to be able to deal with the oncoming onslaught. To be a healer, in order to be a healer, you've got to go through some things. So that's what I was preparing myself for in this life, in this time. And because I ignored them, now the huge numbers of them, they're, they're launching attacks, hiding in alleys, corners, parking lots. Yeah, I just saw the news group. It was Crowley's, uh, a young lady was raped in the parking lot in the Crowley's somewhere in another city or state. And again, in this state, people do the same thing right now today. You see how crazy this, this is? An opioid, top opioid drug in, insensitive state that this is. That's what's going on with the people. Sitting in parking lots, waiting around to do something think you're going to do something evil to, to a, a, a perfectly placed healer by the creator. No, you can't do that. You will not do that. Because why? I'm permanently powerful. I'm hovering. Because my movement is communicated, already covered. Like when the young guy told you, you can't, it, it, it was known before you got, what, before you thought, thought you were going to do something. My vibratory rate breaks up rocks. I get the juice, the minerals from the rocks, the guns that you that they made from. See, all the weapons are made from the vibratory rate that I melt down. Yeah, melt it down. That's what it's talking about. You see, those bullets are melted already. I, my vibratory rate is so powerful that when. when it's already known what's going to happen. So the light projection, protection, information source, the communication from the sun brings me that. Okay? It's already there for you to see, to know who you are. You, you, you're telling yourself you want thing, but the situation that we're in shows you what you really are. Isn't that beautiful? Live your life peacefully dominant as I'm living my life peacefully dominant. I don't come around to attack anyone. See, this started with them coming to me trying to uh, turn my life into home. No, I'm not home. I'm a head of sexual. I love sex with women. Women. Y'all keep coming around. I'm going to see you one day and let you uh, take my clothes off. And uh, we're going to do our thing one of these days. I'm telling you, one soon. Soon, very soon, you know, and uh, uh, all sizes, but I really like tall, thick women, man, I like tall, thick, slim, you know, short ladies, I date them, but sometimes, you know, size does matter, <laughs> I'm talking about that smile, <laughs> size does matter, I'm telling you, man, I'm going to say thick, I ain't talking about no big old girl, or nothing like that, but you know, y'all know what I'm talking about, hips and all of that, even the slim ones, you know, with the, you know, bow legs and all that. Ooh, Lord have mercy. So, yeah, when I move around, I see women of all kinds, all kinds, all colors, all 
whatever but the smile on my face in the place so that, that, that's what that's all about is this thing here we have to be able to move forward out of that in the movie that black panther movie i wouldn't i'm not going to see it i've always I, i've seen the black panther like i said in, the, in niger the nigger they call us placed me powerfully you see made dr Satan the world's greatest healer at that time you see made him the world's greatest healer when the man called him that now with, with these People follow me around, running around, doing all this crazy. It's making me, what? One of the greatest of life finders in all this pressure, in all these situations that I've been going through. Have it, has it not? Has it not? What does it all mean? In all the situations that I've been in. So, uh, as we move forward, make sure your life is as peacefully dominant as mine is. Because I'm the example. I'm the example in which people uh, can use to move forward in their lives. I'm the rule of which things are measured. I'm the rule I run this. Yeah, I, things I say and do, the Oval Office, it all comes full circle. All comes full circle. You can listen to all the things you go. Look at the video, all the things I say and do comes full circle. You can, they can play games as if all you this and that you, is powerful. They know you don't send people out to follow someone all the time and not knowing that they're the most powerful person. People don't follow me all the time not knowing that I'm powerful. So that, you can't, that's over with trying to say, oh, you can make it, no. It's, it's what's making the world go round, the hoover. This what's making uh, uh, our, our people come to fruition. Not to go to no fucking movies. When these people, when, when the Jewish people have bombings, and when they, when, when they do it all, which call those people stop on bombs, they don't say make no movie, let's go to the movies. How the fuck is we talking about? Let's go to a movie, a Black Panther movie. Why is that? What is the crazy, craziness is that? Let's go to a movie. I've been calling us bad names and, and saying people from Africa and all that. Now he's trying to say he did say it. Right, it's, the timing is too good, it's too great. You see, it's too great. And I, I went on that show, uh, sports show, and, and talked about the football game, the Minnesota Vikings and the uh, New Orleans Saints. He showed how <sighs> fixated number seven, number seven, the quarterback for the uh, Minnesota Vikings threw a 61 yard pass. That's seven, 61 is seven. Five seconds on the clock. Number five, no, number 14, which is four, one and five, caught the ball and ran it in for a touchdown, right? The score was 29 to 24, win by five. Okay, look at all them numbers, but somehow, The man whipped and missed the, missed the man on the top. Come on, he fit. See how great that is? See how the fix. And see, uh, the Saints almost won that game when they blocked the punt by the Vikings. Now remember the last remember the last time the Saints won a Super Bowl? They blocked a field goal and ran in for a touchdown in the time when they won a Super Bowl. You see? The fix goes on and on. I thought, oh my goodness, they done, they've done it again. But then I said, no, nah, ain't. Don't somebody in Minnesota got enough money to buy this? Come on. I know y'all got enough money to buy this game. Come on. You can't let these people beat y'all. I couldn't believe it. I said, man, come on. I know y'all ain't came this far. Ain't going to let them let them beat y'all. Somebody got some money. They change this thing. Make that call. Next thing you know, bam, that is Hill Mary passed over. And check this out too. Uh, the guy named Phelan plays for the Minnesota Vikings from Minnesota. Plays on the team. You remember, remember the, the Hail Mary pass in the Miami game? The Miami and uh, Boston College game? There was a the guy named Phelan caught the Hail Mary pass in that game. Isn't that wonderful? Phelan or Phelan, the same thing went on. 
And uh, that's what that, that was a shameful game too when they had to uh, put the uh, t-shirts, make the t-shirts thugs versus some saints or some old crazy that had to make those t-shirts. And one commentator wore the t-shirt, shamefully wore the t-shirt uh, to represent who he is, you see, and all this and that. So uh, we have the uh, energy to use to move forward lovingly, peacefully dominant when these people say, well, yeah, keep on saying it, no ugly stuff. All is it fall right in line. When the guy Niger, close to the word nigga, was killed, secret in Africa, come later, people in Africa don't do all this and that said it, and now they come, all of a sudden come up with a Black Panther movie. Now, just go to the movie and, and feel good. So when you come out the movie, you come marching and we can do a hologram and and so you say you were shooting and had guns and all of that because remember the last thing they just they just had this uh, thing in Charlottesville you see there was a practice run you see where they said both they had the uh, permit you see so this time now when you go out in the streets these people going to be out there they can hologram you with guns and now those people who are racist and start shooting, killing, and murder on point. And say, say, see, there the guns were right there and there. Playing you again. You getting played on some bullshit because you want to go to the movies, buy some popcorn, soda pop, and candy and, and all that. What good is that doing out to our community? What good is that doing to our community? Always trying to go to a fucking movie after some tragedy goes on. Another interesting thing. George G.M. James was killed, died in a car crash, leaving Arkansas, going to Memphis, going to Tennessee, wherever he was going. Here in Arkansas, they got a little Italian restaurant. They said it was the best restaurant in America in 1962, right? In Arkansas, I, 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 don't, I don't know the dates, what they did, because I want to see, I want to go up and take, take a picture of it and have it. My historical record. In Arkansas, there's a restaurant in Little Rock, Arkansas that says it was the best Italian restaurant in the USA. Now, in Memphis, Martin Luther King was killed in Memphis in a location in a hotel owned by the Italians in 1962. I wonder, did they get to be the best restaurant in America? Based on something that goes that goes on uh, when someone does something, you see, I'm not saying that they had something to do with it, but it's very interesting that that came out at that time when they show it. That's the first thing that came to my mind, but because on one hand, uh, the great would show the preacher, the black preacher. First of all, let me say the black preacher said, not until you move to the right so you have a clear shot. Let me put that in there first before I say something about the Italians. Say something, say something what somebody else had to do, but our own people was involved. But then this Italian restaurant here in, in Little Rock, Arkansas was the best little restaurant in the USA. And we know the Lorraine Hotel was owned by the Italian. They ran the garbage uh, thing in Memphis, and Martin Luther King was, was dealing with that in, in the Vietnam War and all. That's very interesting, 1962. Dick Gregory, check that out. That's Dick Gregory, he the he one put that information. Shocked me to life. You see, George M. James, yeah, on the way to Memphis, died in a car, car crash. Martin Luther King, it was pointing up, and the shot came from down below. In Memphis, Luke Wall was involved. Yeah, when everybody talked about, you know, Godfather and all this thing all the time, praising them, people being killed and murdered. 